Oh, yuck, what is that smell? That fishy smell somewhere in the house. Yep, that is the smell of anal glands. So you guys probably landed on this video because your dog has either been scooting their bum around or you're smelling that disgusting anal gland smell making you almost vomit and you wanna know what is going on with your dog's bum. Dr. Lindsay Butzer, a small animal veterinarian, and this cute Cavalier Winston here is gonna help explain to you what anal glands are, some of their diseases, and if they need to be expressed regularly or not. And I first wanna thank Pet Meds, who's the sponsor of this video. And I'm gonna put a link in the description below so you guys can shop online there for some of their products that will help your pets with their anal glands. So both cats and dogs have two small anal sacs located between their internal and external anal sphincter muscles that hold a blueberry or a grape-sized amount of that smelly anal sac fluid, which has a unique scent to that animal, which may indicate to other animals things like their sex, health, and possibly even how old they are. Anal sacs routinely empty as the dog or cat defecates and fills back up daily. Dogs with anal gland issues will scoot around the floor or lick and chew at their butt. So to help your dog's impacted anal glands, you want to address the three things I just told you. Obesity, so having them lose weight or exercise them more. Loose stool, you would go to your veterinarian and have them prescribe a diarrhea medication or put them on a probiotic. And then increasing fiber in their diet. And you could do this by getting pumpkin from your grocery store or switching their diet to something that has more fiber, which your veterinarian can help you with. So we talked about anal gland impactions, but what about anal gland infections? And they can get so infected to the point where they rupture and get blood and pus around your house. And the main reason they get infected is due to primary allergies. And then another reason is intestinal parasites, but allergies are more common. And those allergies in your dogs cause them to scoot chronically and irritate the anal glands. When anal glands are infected or impacted, your veterinarian will express them to examine the fluid contents to see if it's hard pus chunks or green infected liquid material. Expressing the glands will alleviate some pressure and pain, and then they will prescribe antibiotics and anti-inflammatory pain medications to treat these infected or impacted anal glands. Anal glands can also get a cancer that's uncommon called anal gland adenocarcinoma, which your veterinarian will examine when they express your dog's anal glands to make sure everything looks okay. Unfortunately, this cancer is really bad and does spread, and your dog would need to go to a veterinary oncologist for radiation or chemotherapy to fix it. So on another note, let's address that question, do my dog's anal glands need to be expressed at every spa day? And the answer is no, and a double no for cats who rarely have anal gland issues. So like I said before, your dogs will express their anal glands at their regular bowel movements. But if they do scoot a lot and are having some issues, your veterinarian will express their anal glands as needed. All right guys, so if your dog is scooting a lot or licking at their bum, make sure to go to your veterinarian to have them check everything out to make sure everything's okay. And like usual, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up to help this video circulate to more pet parents like you, and I hope to see you back here for some more veterinary videos.